Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to 220 with Richard where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you'd like to help grow this channel, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is combined direct and bending stress, example 5.5. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I am going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our question is, an H section for piles, 305 by 305 by 79 kgs per meter is used as a short column. A load of 120 kilonewtons is applied on the y-axis, 100 millimeters from the centroid. Calculate. There's only two things to calculate. We have to calculate the resultant stress at the flanges of the H section. And number two, we need to draw the stress diagram for the direct and bending stress as well as for the resultant stresses. Okay, first things first. Let's get our... So this is an H section. This is an H section and it's 305 by 305 by 79 kg per meter. The load we'll write the load like this load 120 times 10 to the 3 and from the y axis equals 100 millimeters from y axis is 100 millimeters so what we need to do now is calculate the resultant stress. So, first direct. And our direct stresses formula is force over area. Now what we need to do is look at our hot rolled steel tables. That will give us our area. So our force is 120 times 10 to the 3 and our area is 10,07 times 10 to the minus 3 as stipulated in the hot roll tables because the hot roll tables will give you area of your H section and that equals 11 comma 917 mega pascals right so our, our direct stress is 11 comma 917 mega pascals now what we need to do is our bending stress our bending stress our stress for bending is M Y over I. These are also in your hot roll tables. Now this is the Y axis. So this is your Y axis. Now we have this which is 120 times 10 to the 3 times 0 comma 1 which is our y-axis times 
0, 0,2942 all over 164,3 times 10 to the minus 6 times 2. That is our formula. So, what we are doing next is our answer. And our answer is 10 comma 926 mega pascals so our bending stress is 10 comma 926 mega pascals now what we're going to do now that we have these stresses Now we're doing the maximum and minimum. For our maximum, for Q, which is our minimum, Q is equal to direct minus bending. So, 11,917 minus 10,926 equals this is all in megapascals so you will type this in megapascals and what you're left with is 991 kilopascals that is what you're left with so Q is 991 kilopascals now all we need to do Now all we need to do for the maximum is say this plus Q2 is plus. So our formula is that is 22 comma 843 mega pascals. So, Q2 is equal to 22,843 mega pascals. And that is the answers for question 1. Now for question 2. Now for question 2. Now we have all our, our numbers that we need. So question two goes like this. We have an H section. Now what we need to do is put a line here. Now we are drawing, we're drawing the stress diagram for the direct and bending stress as well as for the resultant stress. Right, now what we need to do is our stress diagram. Now we can only estimate our stress like this. We can only estimate it. But in this case, it looks something like that. Now, this is zero and zero. And now we go here. And P. Now, this is 11, comma, nine one seven now what we need to do is go like this 
Now we have a line that goes across and then a line that goes almost exactly, now they must be almost exactly equal, right? Now, this is minus 10 comma 9, now this is minus 10, minus 10 comma 2, 9, 926, 926, and this is plus 10, 926. And then finally, we have another line that is over here, and this line goes from there, and it's a bigger and it's a bigger one because this is our stress diagram. So the smallest stress is right here at 991 and the biggest stress is 22,843 mega pascals and that's kilo pascals. That's why it's a lot smaller. And that is how we draw our graphs. Our graphs are, this is our direct stress. And this is our bending stress diagram. And this is our this is our final resultant stress diagram. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It helps to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like more videos like this, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.